Hello everybody, my name is Kade Moir. Welcome back for another video of NHL 19 franchise mode with the Seattle Krakens. We're up for the third year of uh, regulation, I guess, a season. This is going to be our third season. We're going to simulate. Hopefully this time around we're going to do better. This is our team, what it's going to look like, or at least this year, uh, before we start doing trades randomly and stuff. So this is what's going to look like. I'm guessing we're going to have for now Vanek with uh, Brassard and Fast in the first line. Now, it's not a line that's going to work out too much uh, very well because there's two snipers in there with a two-way forward. We don't have anybody uh, to help that out. We don't have a playmaker or grinder or something, a power forward, you know, other than two snipers. I don't like putting... Uh, two snipers or two playmakers in the same line is never a good thing, guys. It never works out pretty good, but... We don't have a choice to put them up because the three other lineups are going well together. We've got Rick Nash with Ala and Marge Mackey in this third line. And I was uh, contemplating on putting him with Lafreniere, which is our first overall. As you can see, our first overall this uh, this year, the, the draft we just did. But um, I'm actually going to put him on the second line instead because Shaw and him are basically both grinders. So they can do the same job and Marjo Mackey is better. So we're going to put him with uh, a, in a better position to produce a little bit more, help him out a little bit more. Uh, Lafreniere, we're going to put him, he's a deaf forward, but we're going to put him on a third line because um, he's better than, than Darren Helm. He, I think he's got a better chance as well of producing with along uh, Ryan Nash and Andrew Shaw. All right, it's a good combination. And we've got as well a a two two way forwards with playmaker it's not the best thing over here on the fourth line it should do the trick though all right we don't have the best offensive team of course uh i don't know how to do it really how to upgrade our team at this point it's basically not doable almost but it is what it is we've got erasmus darlene with uh, larson they're both going to play together for the first uh duo the second duo is going to be uh, jordan schmals with Josh Manson, and we're going to have for the third duo, Brendan Dillon and Samuel Moran. Uh, Moran. What we're going to do, we're going to ha also have uh, the goaltenders, Flurky and Grabauer, both starting and starting goaltenders. So goaltenders, we don't have any problems. And AHL, it looks like this AHL, we don't have anybody really. But um, that's pretty much it. We've got this, uh, the captains that we got to set up, so I'm going to make sure that the captain... There's no captain. Uh, Darlene is the captain. I guess it's fine by me. I guess it's fine by me for if Darlene is the captain. I don't want Brassa as the captain. I want my prospects to be the uh, the uh, assass assists and stuff. So Lafrenia and Marjo Mackey. Right. All my young players, my young prospects are the ones that are going to have the, uh, the letters on their chest. I think we're good on that. So what we can do, we're going to already start simulating up the way up to the actual season. So the preseason, we're going to simulate it. I want to get rid of the injuries. So once the preseason is done for, I'm going to get rid of the injuries all, all together, guys. Not exactly, but I'm going to put it to eight instead of nine. I got it on nine and it was I, we had way too many injuries last year. And it was not good for us. I'm just going to put it on 8. Usually on 8, it there's no injuries at all. There's no balance. The 9 is supposed to be the balance. But it wasn't the balance. It's like it's as if it was on 10, you know. It wasn't doing well. So I don't want that at all. I don't feel like that's going to be a good thing. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to go ahead and simulate, uh, simulate without the injuries. I think it's going to be better... So far, the uh, preseason is absolutely horrible to us, which is a good indication that maybe we have to change our lineup, lineups and stuff because it doesn't look like it's going to work out so much the way it is or maybe just switch our strategies a little bit. It really doesn't look like it's going to go well for us. So we, I need to switch my strategies probably. I don't want to switch the lineups. I feel like my lineups are pretty good as it is. I'm good. I'm ready to start the season, guys. So let's do this. Let's not waste any time. We're going to uh, simulate the first month. Not a, It's a short month, of course, because it's the very first one uh, of October, basically. 
let's start and see if we can win against uh, the St. Louis Blues I, for our first game. We're going to actually end up losing 4-1, to one, which is not good. It's a good chance for us to look at our strategy, see if it works out or not after the first month. It's not going to be a good... Uh, uh, a, a big month for anything but uh, I'm keeping an eye on it I switch my strategies quite a lot actually all my strategies I'm tra I'm, I'm playing with my strategies just to see if it works out or not you know you never know maybe they're gonna play better there's already a trade incoming guys already a trade so already we're, so we're gonna get rid of someone we got the third rounder and doll back I don't know, uh, two third rounders uh, for in exchange for another, I guess. Dalback, we're going to need a defenseman for him. He's a depth a four, a depth defenseman. 77 overall, so we need to find something like that, maybe. Or just a prospect in itself. I'm looking maybe for a prospect. Let's just see if we can't find anybody, anybody that uh, would fit that description. 77 overall, another one, Metat. Mark Metat would be pretty decent, I think. I think he would be pretty good for us. Um, I might want him. I might want him. It's the same thing. It's the same value, really. We don't change too much. And there we go. We don't change too much. It's basically the same players. There we go. One defenseman for another. The same the same thing. Mark Metat, you're going in there. We're going to have to go to the lineups because we need to. We just made a trade, so we need to fix that up. Let's just uh, put him in there, I guess. There we go, Metat. You're going in there. Uh, you're a deaf defenseman, so yeah, basically it's the same thing. There we go. Didn't switch too much here, guys. We just switched one defenseman for another, so not a big change. Not a big change, for, not for a team in the NHL at least. It doesn't change anything. There's another trade already. Doing a lot of trades, guys, already, um, as you can see. So a third rounder. Or third rounder that's good enough we got a first round pick actually they want to give it to us for two of our defensemen now this guy is playing deaf a defenseman as a backup I don't think we're gonna need him because I know for sh for a fact we're not gonna get any injuries with the eighth as uh, in the injuries but we've got Menson as well now Menson is an important part of our team though he's uh, one of our top four so I don't know guys, we're going to need to find a uh, 83 overall defenseman. So let's just try to find a one that's uh, better or or just a little bit worse or something that's really good for us. All right, so 83. We've got an 84 right here in Daniel Nurse. We're going to probably get that, so Daniel Nurse. I think I could get that. Uh, let me just see really quick. What is he? What is Menson? Really quick, he's a defensive defenseman. I, I kind of need a defensive defenseman in, in exchange. I need the same type of player, really. I feel like I could get Daniel Nurse. It doesn't really matter, really. Uh, Daniel Nurse, he's uh, he's pretty good. I think uh, I, I would like to have him. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna get rid of that. So already it makes it even, as you can see, Daniel Nurse. And we're gonna need uh, Jordan uh, Westerly. I feel like I could probably get an exchange. Uh, maybe I could get. What could I get? I could get a 78 overall, another depth defenseman. So let's see if we can't get that. Uh, something better, maybe. I don't want anything better in that case because it would ruin the team in itself. A feeling like maybe. I've got one defenseman in in spare, so I could probably just get um, a better position or just get like this. I think I feel like this is should be good enough. I don't I can't get rid of him. I it's not going to be too much of a problem. So I could get rid of him. So let's just see if we can get uh, Daniel Nurse in exchange, having a better defenseman. No, all right. So it's not enough in itself. It looks like it's not enough. So what we're gonna have to do here, I guess, we are gonna have to give them a little bit higher of a draft pick, which I don't like, but uh, it is what it is. It's what we have to do. So a second round pick, and it's not working at all. What really now? Hmm. They don't want Danny. They want to trade Daniel Nurse. That's that's the the key right here, I guess. 
Um, so they wanted a third round pick. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give them that. I'm guessing I'm going to give them a f another third round maybe. I guess I, I need to give them another third round. Let's see if it's going to work out. Not exactly. Wow. All right. It's going to be... It's gonna be rough. The fact that I gotta, I gotta play with that. That's not good at all. Let's give them a fourth round with that. Third, two third rounds, two fourth round. Daniel Nurse is worth a lot. Holy! Daniel Nurse is worth a lot, guys. Okay. There we go. That's what we have to give him. To a second and a third, I guess. There we go. We needed to give them a second and a third. Now Manson is out of there, I guess. There's a couple of trades we gotta do, so Daniel Nurse uh, uh, Minson is out of there. Daniel Nurse, welcome to the team. We got Esterly who's down for the count, I guess. He's not there anymore. So Esterly Daniel Nurse, you're gonna play there. Now uh, Nurse, he still he can still grow. Not for too long. He's still got probably two years to grow. He's a 84 overall. I feel like he's going to be a really good player with uh, Schmaltz. I feel like he could be. We can even uh, do that right here so it can it completes each other. There we go. It actually works very well because uh, Dylan is a uh, top four anyway. Anyway, so it's, it works out for us. Already we traded two defensemen. We're trading a bunch of defensemen. Looks like our team is looking to trade a lot of defensemen, guys. Look at this. Uh, look, what what is this? We're trading all of our defensemen. Well, why? Why are we doing that? Okay. Um, Dylan, we're gonna have to get an exchange or 83 overall or something like that. So let's just get rid of that. We're gonna get try to get a better defenseman, I guess. Let's see what we can do. Like what we can get, really. We could get Ekholm in there. That would be pretty good for us. 30 years of age. Feel like that would be pretty good for us. What is your two-way defender, though? Uh, Ecom or 80, another 82 in exchange. A feeling like getting this player instead because he's, he can grow. He can still grow, Brandon Carlos. So I'm going to get him. He can still grow. Feel like we we're going to do good with him. Uh, that should be good enough like that. I feel like it should, it should work. It doesn't work. So we're going to have to give them a, uh, another fifth round pick, I guess. Let's try to get that. Another fifth round pick. There we go. No, it's not working out. Okay. All right, all right. Um, we're going to have to give them a fourth round right here. God damn. That's a lot, man. These players are worth a lot. That's crazy. Another fourth round right here, man. You want my players. You're going to have to work for it, buddy. You're not going to get it otherwise. I can't get these players for some reason. I hate that, though. I really absolutely hate that. Um, Dylan, I, like you gotta give me something in return. I can't just be trading stupid. I can't just be making stupid trades like that, you know. So, Dylan for Carlo. What can I give him, really? What is it that I can give him that would help uh, tremendously? Third round doesn't work. I feel like uh, I could give him a second round. It could go with uh, go. Go ahead and do it. No, it's not working out. Third round. Maybe a third round, a second round. And a fourth round pick. Maybe that would work. It did. A the second round and a fourth round pick. And there we go. We upgraded our defense again. They want to, like... Well, we I, in my book, we upgraded it because it's actually a prospect we've got now. So... But it's the same overall. But you know what I mean? It's just... It's annoying. I don't know why it's doing that. Like, why are we trading all of our players for some reason? It's really getting in my uh, my nerves here. We're trading so many players for no reason. Like, can we just keep the, the roster as it is and stop doing trades? Like, when I said I wanted to do all trades except all trades, I didn't think we would get, like, uh, 50 trades a season for some reason. Like, this is how the game plays, basically. Now we're going off, uh, we started off with two regulation losses, but we're going off on a four game winning streak, which is really good. Now it's pretty close, we're giving a lot of goals, but we're scoring a lot too. Uh, Braden Davidson, so there's another trade right here. How many trades? 
Like, we didn't have any injuries, but now we're trading all of our plays. Stop it, man. Stop the game. You gotta stop. Like, honestly, it's getting annoying now. 78 overall. We gotta get something in return, guys. God damn it. The game's gotta stop giving me trades. Because it's giving, like, we're never gonna, we're gonna, we're never gonna simulate the goddamn season in itself. Oh my god, 79. We gotta get a 79, maybe. No, because I want a death four, a death defenseman, so. Can I get something good in return, maybe? Vakaninen. Uh, first overall. He could be. Uh, I guess I'm gonna pick him. But it's not gonna be. Oh, fuck it, man. I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't. I really don't know at this point, guys. They don't have any options, really. I, I should probably just pick someone right there. I'm guessing I'm gonna pick. If I might pick someone, I might, have, uh, might as well pick a prospect or something. But no, I'm gonna pick a, not a prospect because he's gonna play in the minor. So Br Brendan Manning, fourth line, I don't want you. That's uh, a fifth for fifth. Davidson for Manning. It's not working out. Uh, what if I do this? All right. Just get rid entirely of it. Now that's just bullshit. Am I gonna have to give you every time a goddamn draft pick? Like, what is this? Honestly, just give me a break already, man. What, what is this? You gotta tell me. I'm gonna give them instead prospects because it's really getting annoying. It's getting on my nerves here. I don't have any prospects really as well. Um, uh, Rookie skaters? Do I have a rookie skater that's not like... Doesn't cost too much. Just something that doesn't cost too much right here. I I guess I do. A bottom six right here. Okay, do you how do you want a bottom six, my guy? You want do you want a goddamn bottom six? Oh you fucking asshole. I'm done. I'm not even doing the trades anymore. It's just we're gonna ruin my team, so fuck the trades, guys. Um I'm deflecting that rule that I did at the very first video, alright? No more trades. Unless I have to do trades myself, I'm new, not doing any, okay? Because it's just plain annoying. They're just gonna keep popping off. Like, look at this. No, they're just gonna keep popping off. It's terrible trades too. It's not good trades for me. It doesn't give me anything. I just trade a bunch of draft picks for no reason. I don't want to do that anymore, alright? I, I want my draft pick draft picks to be good. So, not happening. Fuck the trades. I, I'm done with that. So I think we lost our last game. Oh no, we actually won it. So we only lost three games. We won six games. We lost three in the uh, first month, which is absolutely uh, good. Really good for us. So we're not going to waste too much time. We're going to go right into the third, uh, second month here. I just want to look really quick how our team is doing in itself. Our players playing together. We're going to simulate the second month. All the way to uh, the Edmonton Oilers game in the second of uh, December, I believe. So let's start off against the Pittsburgh Penguins. I hope that it's not going to mess things up so far. It hasn't messed up anything because we won our first game one to nothing. Uh, as you can see, where it's really tight, really tight scoring uh, scoring games. Either we score a lot of goals or give a lot, or we score not, uh, we basically almost score no goals, but we don't give too many goals to. Oh my god, Dallas Stars game. Look at this. We lost 10 to 5. We gave 10 goals away. Holy mother of hell, that was a lot of goals. Holy shit. Never thought I would see that. All right, let's do it. bounce back up, guys. We got two losses in regulation in a row. There we go. There's a win right there. That's what I want to see. I want to see wins. I want to see my team have some success. And so far it's working out. Looks like our team, the way it works is we're giving a lot of goals. We're scoring a lot too. So it's basically the same. We're just scoring more than we're giving goals. And it's, that's the ma what makes the difference right now. And, we're not, and because of that, we're not really... We're going a lot in overtime and shootout. But we're actually winning in overtime shoot up because it actually works out. Our strategies are working out for that. So my strategies are really working out. And my lineups as well are working out. Uh, the, the thing is, to win in this game, you got to have the perfect strategies for the perfect lineups. So I think I managed to get that balance a little bit. 
Not too much, but just enough so that we can manage to win decently and not have too many losses. But sometimes when we lose though, we lose big time. Like we lost 42, but we lost also 8 to 2. It's just like the games again the game against uh, Dallas where we lost 10 to 5 and now we lost 8 to 2 against Blackhawks. So when we lose, we lose like we we face palm each other basically. But we win a we win a couple times. We are getting a winning streaks which is really good. Like three games winning streak right before having a two loss, two losses, but then we get to another three game winning streak right there. So really good for us. I'm happy so far of the way we play. All right, I'm happy the way we are uh, we're playing. Now there was a loss. So it looks like three game winning streak is our best we can do. We did do in October four game winning streak, I believe. But that's the uh, the furthest we went. Uh we're going to see if we can go further than that. We'll see eventually. I'm right, I'm pretty sure we can do we can go further than that. No, you're not I'm not doing any trades like that. All right, that's stupid trades. I'm not doing it. Okay, uh, we've got Arizona as our last uh, game for November. Is it going to be any good? Come on, five to nothing. That's really good for us. Really good. That's what I wanted to see. So a really good no uh, month of November as well, guys. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking the the way our team is playing. We don't have. I don't think we have to switch anything. That's, I want to look at the lineups every time because I want to make sure that we do. Have the players playing well together. Now Lafreniere is really not suited for first line play minutes I guess. Because now he's a minus 7. He's even playing worse. It's actually helping out Brasado which is playing better. And Jesper Fast is a minus 1. Okay. Uh, these guys are actually... Well, now here's the thing. Some players are playing better. Some others are uh, being affected by it. Like Eric Alla is being affected right now. He's not playing well with Vanek and Marjumaki. But Riley Nash, I guess these guys are not playing well actually. They're giving it's because they're giving a lot of goals, but the, the fourth line is doing very well. Fourth line is doing very well. Uh these guys do very well together. Dan Earl Nurse, I can't say his name properly, is actually playing uh, better. It's uh, Jordan Schmaltz, which is struggling a little bit more. And uh, goaltender-wise, let's just look at our goaltender. Okay, Fleury is actually horrible. But we're giving a lot of goals, it's only normal. Grabar is playing very well, but Fleury is horrible. He's the one playing the most, um, I'm pretty sure, because he's 87 compared to Grabar, 80, uh, 83. So, oh well, oh well. Fleury is really not playing well for our team. We've got, uh, is Fleury, no, Fleury is a starting goaltender, so he's not gonna have that that elite status, or he doesn't have like, that elite status doesn't have the potential to be traded or something like that, since he's not doing so well. I could have traded him or for something better, but they, I guess not. Uh, Lafreniere, I don't like how it is. Really, I don't, I really don't like it. He's making some passes, but honestly, think it's hurting him more and I don't want him to get hurt because I want him to grow and stuff maybe I can just um, I don't know Vanek is playing well and Riley uh, Rick Nash is not that good actually it's not that per particular with the team so I might just put them back where, where with who they were I guess I'm not sure we're winning games we're just gonna you know, we're just going to put it back like it was, I guess. Uh, Vanek. No, Rick Nash. We're going to try Rick Nash on the first line. Lafreniere on the... F Lafreniere is not doing well either on the third or first line. So maybe we could just play Darren Helm in there. All right. Maybe we can just play Darren Helm in there and uh, see how it goes. Maybe Darren Helm is going to do better. Actually, I decided to do otherwise. I'm going to keep Lafreniere in there, guys. Lafreniere in the first line. What I'm going to actually end up doing is just change my lineup. It's the reason why they're having a tough time is because of this. They're playing behind the net instead of playing overload. They're skilled players, so I'm thinking we should probably just give them overload. 
and behind the net is a f no overload for them let's try it overload yeah let's, let's try just try out overload for these guys see if it's gonna work out or not might actually not work out that well or it might work out we don't know so let's just go ahead and simulate third month of simulation the month of december let's see how it goes we had a really good uh, month of november a good month of october as well let's see if we can go and continue our our records and stuff uh, and see how our team is going to go basically with um, new setup strategies for the lineups itself themselves which is basically where we put three of them in overload which was three out of four went behind the net before now there's three out of four that are overload it's only the the, the fourth line uh, line that's uh, that this is playing in uh, behind the net so Overload is basically for the skilled players. It's only for the players that are play really good or that have really good stats. But uh, maybe we can try it out. Maybe we can see if it's gonna work out or not. Now it doesn't look like it's working out for us actually. It's hurting us because we've got four losses in a row now. And I don't like that. I don't like seeing that. That's gonna bring down our record big time. So if I see a fifth, uh, a fifth loss, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop it. No, okay. I don't want five game losing streaks. If I see five game losing streaks, guys, this is when I'm gonna switch it right away. Even though it's not gonna be a, a month and entirely simulated, I, I don't want to mess things up. All right. So I want to make sure that everything is fine, that we're playing good or anything. Like, want to make sure that everything is good for us, because I want to make it to the playoffs. We absolutely need to make it to the play. We're all we are an hopeful team. We need to make it to the playoffs. We're not contender, but still, man. I mean, it's our it's our third year at this point. We should be able to do it. We should be able to make it there. It's uh, it would be absolutely ridiculous for us to not make it to the playoffs three years in a row at the very beginning. It would be the worst, the worst start for a team, really. I'm pretty sure. Uh, AHL is really do doing well, as well as us, basically. We have almost the same record as the AHL team, which is kind of funny. But we have really good players in the AHL supporting that uh, those plays and stuff, so it's only normal for us. We've got two wins in a row. Can we get a third one? We can get a third one, a third win in a row, uh, where we basically score five to four goals, uh, four to five goals per game now we didn't score that this time around which means we lost against um the senator uh, the ottawa senators let's hope we can win maybe the two last games to make it even almost or something like that like just make something happen some uh, just make it even a little bit no we lost it we uh, we go on for the, the fourth month we go on a third Three, three game winning losing streak so and regulation too which is not good not good at all so it's not a good month it's it's not a good month at all uh we kind of were disappointing a little bit but we're still uh, very much on top right now we just gotta keep having we just gotta have better month and we should be good enough let's just look at our nine ups the way they play right now uh Lafayette is actually growing pretty close it's already grew already grew it's playing better as an overload, okay, um, overload is playing better for sure. 77 overall is growing. I'm liking that. Um, so, minus 10, yeah, these guys are playing well. They were made um, to play overload. So, definitely, these guys need to play overload together. It's a good lineup. It's going well. They're going up, trending up. Uh, these guys are not made to play overload at all. It doesn't look like it. So, we need to play them on i guess we could try them actually on crash the net i think we could try them on crash the net since um i guess because they've got really two good talented players but overload is not working out for them so maybe we could uh, we're gonna try behind the net with them if it doesn't work out we're gonna try crash the net uh, and rally nash uh, because there's no, it's a minus five, minus eight. So it's really not going well for them. They're not playing well together whatsoever then. Uh, maybe it's just, th this team is actually going well together. 
So these, uh, I don't want to switch that up. It's just the second lineup. It's not going well uh, at all right now. Yeah, the second lineup. So I don't want to switch anything. I've, I figured it out. I figured out a way to have good players and stuff. We got, uh, yeah, we got good stuff. The two Nashes playing together is working out. I think uh, Vanek, Ala, and Marjamaki just need to get to a different strategy, I guess. The uh, defensemen are playing well. It's basically the same uh, same status, same thing. So we're just going to switch the strategies up. Got to do that every time. Switch the strategies. Uh, it's the second line. We don't want them to play overload. We want them to play, I guess. Uh, it's it's for physical players crash the net, so maybe just behind the net in itself would be better for them. Let's just see how it goes. We're going to simulate right away the uh, fourth month, the month of January. I want to go all the way up to uh, the, uh, the at least the trading deadline. Alright, uh, at least I want to go all the way up there just to see if... If then we have a trade that we can do or something, you know, that we can basically do for a team. Now, four games in a row now. That's four losses in a row in regulation, which is not good. So we lose our first game in uh, of January. We need to win games right away. All right. Four games in a row where we lose. That's not good at all. All right. We, we really need to produce big time. We're not scoring goals, though. Uh, there we go. We won one at least, but we, like we're actually struggling, uh, struggling to score more than two goals right now. So we need to score a little bit more than that. All right, two two. A record of two and two for January. I'll take it for now. I need a more better record though, it's because it's a win lose win lose situation. So we need to have better than that. Come on, don't make another ten five loss. Uh, okay. Just win against this team. A tough team. We lose in overtime. It's okay. That's a loss in uh, overtime. I can take the point. I cannot take that though. We cannot lose in regulation like that. That's uh, that's two losses in, in a row now. And uh, that's basically a record of two, three, and one, which is not good. All right. We got to have more more wins than losses in regulation for sure. We can't do the just like last year and go on a nine game losing streak, you know. That's just cannot be a thing. There we go. There's two wins in a row. That's what I want to see. We're winning in overtime. Like shooting an overtime shooting shootout and overtime. We're actually playing way better. Which is uh, really good for us. So I skipped a little bit the last games. The four last games, I skipped them. We won two of them and we lost two of them. But um let's just see how it is, really. So one loss. One win, so two wins, two losses. That's uh, two, two, one, two, three, one, three, four, five. So three win game winning streak, which is really good for five, three, and one, five, four, and one. That's uh, five, four, and two, and six, four, and two, which is a good record. Six, four, and two is a good record for us after the month of January. We're still in there. We're still working for it, though. We we gotta keep going. We gotta keep winning because we we can't breathe for one second in this division. This division is rough. It's the it's the rough division we're in compared to the Pacific division. I would just wish we were in the Pacific division. We will make it to the playoffs every night. We're gonna simulate right before the first of March, which is uh, the month basically of. It's going to be basically the trade deadline right there. So let's see how February is going to go, guys. The last month before a trade deadline. Last month of stimulation for this video as well. Before we start doing, uh, like, looking at our roster, if we need to make any trades. Is there any players that are already in the AHL itself? I doubt it because it's a bunch of veterans that are playing there. There's some prospects here and there, but uh, mostly it's a bunch of veterans. And the prospects are only in the 60s and stuff. So I doubt it. I doubt there are going to be any players uh, good enough to play right now. But you never know. So we're going to have just, just have to look at that. Um, no trades. I don't want to do any trades. Um, actually, this might be good enough. Let's just see what it is. Fifth and a sixth for Corrali. What is Corrali exactly? It's a fourth liner. 
I don't think I need a fourth liner, my guy. No, I don't need one. I don't need any fourth liner. No, I don't need any fourth liner. If I need it to make a trade, I'm gonna do it myself. I don't I don't do that anymore. I don't do trades. Because it's just plain bad for me. There you go. I don't no, okay, I I did it. I don't wanna make any trades because it's just it's just not gonna work out for me. We're we're starting off. We're already on a five game winning streak, but now we uh, we just lost though, which is not good, but we ha we were in a five game winning streak and that's a four game winning streak actually for the beginning of the month of February, which is really good. So I think it's working out. I think crash the net might be the thing for the second line, especially for Vanek and all. Maybe it's, sometimes it's just players in particular that need to play in a certain way. Uh, maybe they just need to crash the net and instead of behind the net overall, it's not their style, you know, maybe it's just that. It's just playing that and maybe Marjamaki is just playing better in a third line as well. Maybe it's just one of these two or both. I, I don't know guys. So, so far we got six wins and two losses in regulation. So good record. I want to keep it uh, like that though. We got to keep having good records to ensure that we make it to the playoffs and stuff like that. Uh, no, I don't want Ben Ma. Uh, we've got two losses in the regulation in a row now. I don't want that. I don't want losses. There we go. Wins. We as soon as we start losing though, that's the been the the Ma. That's been the season in itself. As soon as we started to lose, we uh, bounced back up with a couple of wins, which is really good. So we're not losing too much. We uh, our worst. Losing streak was a four game losing streak. Okay, we didn't go further in four games, which is uh, that's good. That's good in itself because if you go start going five games in a row, that's when uh, it's going pretty bad. Now, two losses in a row again in regulation. Losing in regulation is not good, guys. We need points right now. We need to start winning. Come on, guys. Give me points. Give me uh, three points right there. Let's go. You got it. We got two games before the trade deadline. Show me that you want it. Show me that what you want it. You want to go in the team, stay with the team, make it to the playoffs. Let's go. Oh my God, a loss in regulation for the last game. God damn. All right. Um, record of February is going to be one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so five and two. Five and two. That's six and three right here. Six and four. That's not uh, no it's six and three so six and five uh, seven and five seven and six so seven and six the record of February we got a lot of losses in regulation no losses in overtime whatsoever which hurt us a lot still got more wins than losses but hurt us a lot look at our last ten games four and six it's not good so not good at all which is means that we're trending down because everybody's starting to win now and because we didn't get any we're getting the wins but the lose, losses we're getting as well are we're not getting them in overtime or anything we're not getting any points for that so look at this it makes this difference we're working out right now we're we're battling basically with Chicago Blackhawks. We need maybe one more player, a better player that could help us out. I'm thinking we need to make a trade just to see who our, our worst player is, trade him and uh, on the team right now, trade him and um, maybe just get a better player overall, a first liner, a second liner for a draft pick. I don't know, something, just a plain better player just to help us out really do as better as best as possible really to make it to the playoffs that's my objective right now i want to make it to the playoffs we're in the wild card spot but you best your you bet bet your ass it they're gonna the pacific division central division is not gonna mess things up let's just look at our lineups really quick i'm gonna see you guys for the next one remember to leave a like and subscribe for the initial video keep it easy